In this video, we will be focusing on the marketing strategies and flaws of True Hockey Skates. True Hockey is a one-of-a-kind hockey skate manufacturer. Typical skates come with a preset shape so there, there can be flaws in both comfort and performance. True Hockey uses a 3D scanner to get the exact shape of an athlete's foot and then makes the skate around that mold. This results in an extremely comfortable and efficient hockey skate. Before we start critiquing True Hockey's marketing flaws, I'd like to recognize one of its strengths. I think True Hockey does a great job at making its core values and mission a very important part of its marketing department. The textbook describes how important this is when it says, an organization's foundations is, is its philosophical reason for being, why it exists. Successful visionary organizations use this foundation to guide and inspire their employees through three elements, core values, mission, and organizational culture. Rocky builds this organizational foundation by letting everybody know that they are truly different from the skate, skating market out today. They are the only people that makes a skate from the ground up that is 100% customizable to someone's exact foot. Now let's take a look at True Hockey's marketing flaws. I think the first flaw has to do with market segmentation. In Chapter 9, our textbook describes market segmentation as Market segmentation first stresses the importance of grouping people or organizations in a market according to the similarity of their needs and the benefits they are looking for in making a purchase. Second, such needs and benefits must be related to specific marketing actions that the organization could take, such as a new product or special promotion. True Hockey only has one product in their skates department, but they need to market to multiple market segments. They do a great job of marketing to the pro, pro segment, but they do not do a great job of marketing to the youth segment. They need to understand that youth sports is very competitive and kids, are, kids and parents are willing to pay top dollar for pro-like performance and pro-like products. True Hockey's next marketing flaw has to do with retailers. This is related to market segmentation because through these retailers, they can reach that new youth market segment. True Hockey is not able to reach any of its young athletes because it's not in any retail stores. Our textbook in Chapter 16 describes retailing as an important marketing activity. Not only do producers and consumers meet through retailing actions, but retailing also creates customer value and has a significant role in impacting the economy. True Hockey could solve this problem by positioning itself to be in big retailers such as Pure Hockey and Total Hockey. They could house their 3D modeling skates there, have people come in and try and use them, and then this would be able to connect them back to their headquarters. And so not just pro athletes could get the really good skates that they provide. The next flaw in True Hockey's marketing strategies has to do with their social media. They have a pretty strong social media presence, but I think that they just go about it the wrong way. I think our textbook sums it up perfectly when it talks about YouTube. It says, YouTube offers great opportunity for a brand manager to produce and show a video that explains the benefits of a complex product. True Hockey does a great job of keeping up with all its social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, but I think they need to take it to the next level by using more complex videos, whether they do this on YouTube or Instagram. I think they would benefit greatly from doing two things on social media. First would be to show how their skates are made. They need to go dive in and show the exact process of how they're made and how this makes them different from the other skates, which ultimately makes them better. Secondly, and most importantly, they need to use their top NHL athletes. They need to take videos of them explaining why they chose a skate and what benefits they see from the skate. And this would really resonate with the youth athletes because everyone looks up to the NHL players. And if they see why the NHL players switched over to these skates, it's going to make them want to switch over too.